So I'm so thankful that we have a loving, eternal God, a God of light, a God of hope, a God of future. Amen. amen. And we're going to try this song. Yes and amen.
He will heal. It will set captives free. Because that's what the Spirit of the Lord does. It is upon you. It is in you. It is anointing you to preach the gospel. To, give, to preach recovery of sight to the blind. And to set open the prison doors and set the captives free.
priest, I don't know what this means, but I just see a huge clock and I said, I feel the Lord say, it's time. It's time. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I it's time. It's time. I feel like you've been waiting for something. The Lord says it's here. It's time. Step into it. Step into it. Step into the newness. Chains be broken. Lives be says, I didn't give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. Fear has kept many captive and stopped them from moving on into the things of God. But it's time to recognize your enemy. Whoa! Because the, the master of lies puts fear. And the world is being controlled. Oh, by fear. The Lord says, fear not, for I am with you. Fear not, because I go before you. I make a way in every situation, every circumstances. I have made a way so far. Look at you. Look at your life. Look at your health. Look at your destiny. Look at what I have provided for you. Because I have been G over Jaya, a provider from the beginning. Not one of you has lacked. Whoa! Don't look to the world or the world's standards. He said, you will be disappointed every time. Look to me. Look to a God that cares. That even when the sparrow falls from the tree, I know. But how much more precious are you, says the Lord. You, you, every hair on your head is numbered. Every thought I have to you is warm like the sands of the seas. Don't look to the world or the world's supports because the world is failing and falling away. But I never fail and I never will leave you. I never walk away, walk away from my promises on my children, says the Lord. My promises are yes and amen. amen. Whoa! So look to me. Jesus Christ, the author of your faith, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I am going to take you from every situation, every circumstance. Fear not, because I am with you, says the Lord. I am your shield. I am your exceedingly great reward. I will take you through every, every storm, every season in life. And under the shadow of the Almighty, you will be protected. Just as a, as a chicken takes her, ch her chooks under her wings, I am taking you under my wings. And I keep you safe from all. Thank you, Jesus. You don't need to hide back and, and fear in anything because the Lord has always been protecting you. He's your shield. He's your uh, rear guard. He's your front guard, okay? But he's really got a, 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 
it's, 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 it's a time. It's time. You know, you're a mighty man of God. See yourself as God sees you, but not as you feel. Because feelings lie. They continually lie. All right? You've got to shift that mindset. Put on the helmet of salvation. That protects you from the lies of the enemy. Because the enemy's like chucks fiery darts and tries to get you in life. Enough. You're going to stop that from today. You're to step forward in the things God's called you to do. You're a mighty man of God. I even expect you to stand tall. Stand tall in the things of God. And you're going to say things to people. You know, where did that come? You know it's the Holy Spirit. You know, wow. But be confident in the things that you say to people. Don't think you have to, you know, mandy pandy them or something. Be straight with them. The truth in love. Just speak the truth in love. Because you know the word of God. You've been taught from the very time you were, even in the womb, things were spoken over you. And it's your destiny, it's your time to step out in it. Don't think you're too young. You're the exact age you need to be to now for this time, this doomless time. Amen. So um, I love what we're singing today about faithful. All your promises are yes and amen. You know, probably one of the hardest things to do is sum up your walk with God with one word. But if anyone ever asks me that, it's always the word faithful. He's been faithful to me. Even when in my darkest times, you know, Jesus is there and he's been faithful. So, um, so I just want to share about one of those promises in the word of God. So Hebrews 10 verse 1. For the law having a shadow of good things to come and not the very image of the things can never with these same sacrifices which they offer continually year by year make those who approach perfect. Isn't that interesting? You know, every single sacrifice they did and they said like Jerusalem was like a river of blood of constant sacrifices that it could never take away sins. It could never make anybody perfect. All it did was cover um, their sins. And it says, um, for then, yeah, if it did, for then they would have ceased to be offered. For the worshippers once purified would have had no more consciousness of sins. But in the sacrifice, there is a reminder of sins every year. So what it did is it actually made them sin conscious. You know, what Jesus did for us makes us righteousness conscious. You know, you can imagine we're all in the, you know, the camp and Here's um, Andy walking through the streets with his white lamb, oh, unblemished wow. lamb. Uh-huh. Yeah, but we all start thinking, what's Andy been up to? <laughs> 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 He's taking his sacrifice to cover for his sins, you know. So the whole system, <laughs> Jackie's going, oh, wonderful. <laughs> Andy's I'm going, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're thinking that, we're thinking we know what he's been up to, he's got to go and take a sacrifice. <laughs> for those sins. And so, it, you know, it constantly, not only for your own sins, but you constantly was making you conscious of sin. But here's the promise, here's the wonderful thing. From verse um, 11. We'll go, actually, um, yeah, verse 11. So this reiterates that every priest stands ministering daily and offering repeatedly the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But here's the promise. But this man, Jesus, after he'd offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God and from that time waiting till his enemies have made his footstool. For by one offering he has perfected forever those who have been sanctified. What a wonderful scripture. You know, all those sacrifices which couldn't take away sin and Jesus Christ came. You know, his faithfulness. What an amazing that he was faithful to do that for us. And that promise that's yes and amen is that by that one sacrifice, he has taken away our sin forever. Um, it, says, it says here, he offered one sin uh, sacrifice for sins forever. That means that by past sins... My present sin and my future sin was all taken to the cross. Thank you, Jesus. And I have, what we have to do is actually rest in the promise of his faithfulness. Amen. Come on. That was, he was faithful to come and to take my sin away forever. And whenever I feel like, you know, I'm out of sort with him, I actually have to rest in the promise of what he did. Amen. All those songs we were singing was about his faithfulness towards us, not my faithfulness towards him. His faithfulness towards me. And I, you know, 
The Bible says is that we are saved by grace, but we access that grace through faith. It's my faith in His promises, my faith in His faithfulness, my faith in what the Scripture says, that every day I know that my past, present and future sins, and that I have been actually made perfect, I have been made in right standing with Him, all because of what Jesus Christ has done for me. And then it gets, goes on to make it even better. There's another promise at verse 16. It says, this is the covenant. You can say promise, but this is the covenant I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and in their minds. I will write them. And then he adds, their sins and their lawless deeds, I will remember no more. Come on. He, Come on. And if, yeah, we still sin. You know, we like to think that we don't, but we do. But the promise of that, he doesn't remember that. You know, sometimes we beat ourselves up more than he does, you know. Yes. He'd be like, Lord, 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 you know, I did this. And he goes, I don't know what you're talking about. Because <laughs> he says, I'm part of from the east and the west. So, you know, the scapegoat. There's so many things in scripture that say that Jesus, yeah, and that's, that's the wonderful promise and confidence that we have that we won't be standing at the great white throne. We'll be standing at the Bema Sea because the great white throne is a judgment for sin. And how can we be there when our sin has been taken away? Past, present, and future. And so that's the confidence. Yeah, we sang that song, I stand in the confidence because of your promises. Amen. So as we take the um, emblems today, let's thank God that you know, this reminds of us, us of our righteousness. You know, All the Old Testament was a reminder of sin. But Jesus did it in one sacrifice. So that now this reminds us of our righteousness in him. So Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness to come and die on the cross for us. That your broken body, Lord, replaced every sacrifice. That your blood replaced every sacrifice with one sacrifice forever. That could never do happen in the Old Testament. It was just a shadow of what was to come. The shadow was a covering, an atonement. But the reality is that you have taken away. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And you took it away by dying on the cross. So we thank you, Lord God, for, for your faithfulness. And we hold on to have confidence in your promises. In Jesus' name. Just a um, couple of things. Our last home group at Ros and Ken's will be on this Thursday at 11 o'clock. Bring a plate to, to share. And Brenda's last home group is this week as well. Yes. We're going to go to... Coconut Grove. Coconut Grove, is it called? Coconut Grove. I know. It's a Terranora. Terranora. Coconut Grove. Yeah. Coconut Grove. Coconut Grove. Okay. And um, just want to pray for a few people. So Kathy Serkin sent a message last night. She's having um, knee um, problems. Um, also Joyce, who's um, had been in hospital to do with her heart. Um, Bob Spence, who's uh, still in hospital and still getting um, worked on, but you know slowly recovering. And um, Brenda's mum as well, um, who has cancer at the moment. So, uh, and, and uh, we'll continue to pray for Roger. Any anyone else? Yes. Oh, Peter. Pray for Peter as well. So, okay. So, Lord, we just thank you, Lord God. We just thank you that you are the healer, and we just thank you, Lord God, for your healing power, which is still evident today. Same Jesus who walked this earth and healed the sick, saw the um, the lame walk, saw the blind see. We just thank you. So, Lord, all these people we've mentioned today, you know who they are. We just ask for your healing touch in their bodies right now, Lord God. Lord, even wherever they are right now, they will just sense your Holy Spirit just moving throughout their body, just bringing divine healing and divine, divine touch to their bodies in Jesus' name. Everyone said? Amen. Amen. Amen.